In this episode of the FXDM educational series, we're going to be taking a look at candlestick analysis. Now a candle is drawn with a body that represents the difference between the open and the close for the day and a shadow that represents the high price for the day and the low price for the day uh, above or below the body of the candle. So let's look at an example here. We'll say the high price is up here, the low price is down here, the open price in this case was down here, and the close price up here. So that's obviously a positive day, which can be displayed either hollow like this, which is very common, or it will be colored in, and most commonly I see these as green. Now, a negative day will look very similarly in that the upper shadow still represents our high price for the day, and the lower shadow represents, or that vertical line, represents the low price for the day, and a down day, so we'll say that the open was up here equal to the top of that, that body, and the close down here, so that was a negative day. Well, most often a negative day is either filled in, so it could be black, or it'll just be a color that contrasts with the background of the chart, or it could be colored in as red. So the traders will differ a little bit on what they prefer, but either way, it tells us immediately what's going on in the chart. So it takes just a quick look at the chart to be able to see are prices up or are they down for the period that we're evaluating. So let's talk about candlestick patterns. Now I'm going to introduce four patterns to you that I think you'll find interesting. They're very common in the Forex, so they can be very helpful, especially when they appear at support or resistance levels. So the first one that we're going to talk about is a bearish Rami. Now a bearish Rami is represented here, and I've just got three days leading to the upside here, or three little bars here leading to the upside, just to illustrate that a bearish Rami represents at least a short-term change in the trend. So I'm going to color in this candle as green, where we get the first candle of the bearish Rami. Now what's really helpful about this is that it can help investors to identify whether or not they might be at risk, especially if they're bullish. So we'll say that the second candle here, which is the second portion of a bearish Rami, is a candle, and although I've drawn it in red, it really doesn't matter what color that second candle is, as long as the body of that second candle actually fits within the body of the first one. So what this tells us is that bullish momentum is beginning to wane and that the, we might start to see a little bit more of a move to the downside. So it's a bearish signal to the downside, especially if it's confirmed with a third day that closes uh, negatively. Well, a bullish Harami is very similar, except it's a mirror image. So here I have three bars that are representing a short-term move to the downside, at least, although it could certainly be long-term. And then we have a negative day, which as we've seen already, that could just be colored in a solid color, or lots of times traders will identify that as red or draw it as red on their charts. And then we have a second day here with a very small body. What's important about that is that the body fits within the body of the candle that came before it. That would be the second day of a bullish Harami. And here again, we have a bullish implication. So if this were to happen at support level and this one were to happen at a resistance level, they'd be particularly meaningful. In fact, let's take a look at a couple of examples of a bullish and a bearish Harami. You can see here on the Aussie that on September 4th and September 7th, so this is over the weekend, this is very common if you're looking at daily charts for a Harami to appear over a weekend period, that we had a large negative day with a second day that the body of that second day fit within the candle of the first day. So that's a classic example of a bullish Harami, and you can see subsequently the price, in fact, did go up. Now here we have a bearish Harami. This is also on the Aussie, and this was August 7th through August 10th. Now this time it happened at a resistance level, which is very interesting because historically speaking, we might be a little bit more confident about a bearish candlestick pattern that's appearing at a resistance level as being a bit more reliable in its forecast to the downside, which as you can see, played out quite well. Let's look at another couple of candlestick patterns, and like most of them, they have mirror images of each other. This one is a shooting star. Now, a shooting star is represented by a small day that occurs after we've had a short-term uptrend, which you can see there. And we have a body of the candle that's all stuck down here at the very bottom. Now, this one could be red, it could be green, it doesn't really matter all that much. What we want is we want the body to exist down here at the bottom of the price range for the day with virtually no lower shadow and a very large upper shadow. So the difference between the body and the high price for the day should be quite dramatic. Well, a hammer is just the inverse of this. Now, a hammer has a long lower shadow. And here again, it doesn't really matter all that much what color the body is, the smaller the better. But that long lower shadow represents a exhaustion of the bears, and we would assume that that has bullish implications. 
So a hammer, in this case, is bullish, and of course, if it appears at support, all the better. And a shooting star has bearish implications, which again, if it occurs at resistance, that would be all the better as well. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here you can see a shooting star on the euro, and this is in May of 2016. It was at a resistance level, which increases the importance of that particular pattern and its bearish implication, which as you can see, played out fairly well. Now here we have a hammer, which is just the mirror image, basically, of a shooting star that appeared in February of 2016 on the Aussie. Now it was a relatively short retracement that appeared before the hammer, but it emerged at a relatively strong support level that had been in existence over the previous months. So here we've taken a look at a few candlestick patterns to be able to get you started in candlestick analysis. Just remember a couple of rules of thumb. It really matters that the candlestick pattern looks like it's supposed to look like. So don't make exceptions to your rules where candlestick patterns might overlap or be a little bit sloppy or it'll introduce a lot of inconsistency in your trading. Also, if you find a candlestick pattern that conforms to support or resistance, so a bearish candlestick pattern at resistance or a bullish one at support, that tends to help its predictive value and lead to a more successful outcome.